Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisors channel. Here we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US space stocks. Today we will have a look at AstraZeneca traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker MAZN. Well, uh, it's an actually follow-up video because we did AstraZeneca analysis at 24 July and here you see the final picture we did. Uh, it was at the moment of the top of the previous wave with this black red candle and it was said that actually the next uh, support line will be the first orange line S1 with first buying option at the dark circle and then it still might be that it will be correction towards S2 line uh, though S1 line, S line was advised as a first buying and indeed if you look at today's situation it's exactly as was predicted we can see here that uh, the first S line support indeed worked uh, as a first support line and if you would follow our advice you should be actually already in the position and enjoy some small uh, let's say uh, yeah, increase of the price though it's not final action yet uh, and it's still possible that we will go further and indeed as was previously discussed we will go to somewhere between an S1 and S2 line and the reasons for that are actually uh, yeah can be seen here as well as from chart analysis as well as from the general news for the stock so for the general news for AstraZeneca the reason it's a big decline um, taking place from July 20 here is actually that uh, we know that AstraZeneca is now a leader for uh, developing one of the leaders for developing COVID vaccine and people are waiting for the results so it was a little bit over over um, reaction of the market here started at 13 of July which dragged the price really high and RSI was an overbought situation but then since there were no solid news yet coming uh, yeah trials take time for the COVID vaccine um, it was again deceleration of the wave but then it found support as one line as we also discussed so now what we see here still waiting for the news although it's very positive we are kind of sitting on the line as one and following moving average 20 line which is this green line uh, by the way we have three moving averages here moving average 20 50 and 200 being green blue and red lines accordingly here on the left you see depiction of those uh, so if coming back to the current price situation we can see that price is following moving average 20 but due to absence of news and some uncertainty we're coming closer to some intermediate uh, resist line on this level and actually it might be possible that before any solid news comes we will actually stay below this uh, resist line and we will actually as also was discussed previously probably will be bouncing between level S1 because and S2 uh, the reason for that is actually you can see also the current chart combination it's a black, a black uh, hammer here the black hammer is something that looks like that and on upward trend it's usually bearish indicator well in this case it's not really not really super bearish because uh, it was not on the wave up but just some intermediate day trading situation it's more like dodgy actually uh, dodgy kind of behavior but still uh, you can see that it's not very bullish it's either neutral or a little bit bearish doesn't mean that it's a long bearish it's just correction bearish so probably the next defense line will be somewhere the moving average 50 here uh, this uh, blue line so as discussed also in the previous video we're still sitting between these two lines S1 and S2 and anything below S1 line will be a good buy for this stock and of course whenever the news comes for uh, COVID vaccine if they are positive stock will skyrocket no uh, doubt on that so uh, yeah it's only about buying it in a good time and yeah waiting for interesting results so this is really like a news driven situation now um, and yeah if you believe in the in the vaccine of the AstraZeneca then it's very strong buy between S1 and S2 overall also companies very healthy and strong they have also other uh, drugs in the portfolio so their pump line is good
in that sense, uh, anything between S1 and S2 is good to buy. Also, if you look at uh, MACD index, indeed, you can see it's a temporarily bearish signal here because after having the very top um, coinciding with this maximum we saw at 20 of uh, July, we're now following the up downwards wave and seems it's we pierced the zero line, so no upwards jump, and we are going downwards. So it seems like we are going to finish the down wave similarly like for example here or here and then only then we will go upwards so meaning the same with absence of news there will be a correction and correction is the is actually the main driver now for AstraZeneca until the news are coming that's it for it uh, everything follows as discussed also as predicted in the previous uh, video please watch it as well uh, we will put the link to this video to the previous one as well so you can see the whole picture of discussions and still it's very positive stock uh, between s1 and s2 line correction is expected and whenever news are coming they will decide where it goes that was it for astrazeneca thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel